Hi friends, welcome to my channel Civil 3D Pro Designer. In this video, uh, I will explain that how to measure angle using total station in survey field between two points. So it's very important video for the surveyors uh, who don't know how to measure angles between two points for the traverse on civil engineering projects. So before starting kindly subscribe my youtube channel civil 3d pro designer and uh, you can also get uh, pdf materials and civil 3d drawings for practice on my facebook page civil 3d pro designer you can like and you can also access me through my facebook page. So in this video uh, I will review a book which uh, will explain you that how you measure an angle on total station. Uh, we will see a work example and uh, how you can book your readings, your measurements for traversing. So, I will tell you how you can get this book uh, at the end of the, this video. So in the first step, when you measure your angle on any station, the first station will be noun which we call backside. So when you observe your target you will see a cursor of your total station you must need to match with the um, target cursor or if you have uh, rod prism then you will see that in the bottom of rod and prism so as we have uh, a work example for example you have point 0.1 and point uh, 0.2 as b you will set your total station on another point which is station number one and you will observe angle zero zero on point a it will your face left again you will turn your telescope or you can say your total station to another point and you will get a angle between a and b which is 75 degree 34 minute and 11 second for this example it is our face left so we have two reading for the face left now we will see two more readings for the face right when we was here we will get back in the face right and read again point A. Then in the fourth step we will again go on the point B to get another angle. We will measure four readings 0, 0 and 75 and in face left then face right have also two values we will minus face left reading and face right reading like this you can see face left have this and face right have also these reading they have a 20 second difference between them so why we do like this in the field actually our purpose is to get the average angle for these two points how you can book your readings for traversing you can make a sheet on excel or you can do it manually like this the name of survey date instrument number and calibration you can also put there and estimate station sighting station everything will be like 
this and uh, you can see we have back side as point A and for side as point B. So when we measure 0, 0, you will put in the back side column down the A. Then B will be put in the B and it will our face left. When you will minus these two, you will get the measured angle between A and B in the face left. Again, you will measure face right for two points A and B. You will minus them and get another measured angle in the face right. When you have face left reading and face right reading for each face, then you can plus these two angles and divide by two to get the mean angle, which is our 75 degree, 34 minute and 21 second. It is actually our mean angle. So for the pivots, you will do this for each leg and for the each two points to get measure angle between all the legs of traverse to get average angle for traverse later you can proceed the calculation for bearing and coordinates hope you like this video if you want to get this pdf book you can go down in the description link to download that uh, with a link you will get full complete book and you can read it uh, in your free time to get familiar with traversing and booking sheet if you like this video please subscribe civil 3d pro designer and press the bell icon to get latest notification about informative videos